Hello people and welcome to the lesson. Today the topic of the lesson is different clubs. Тема сегодняшнего урока – клубы по интересам, то есть наши увлечения. Today we are speaking about our hobbies, things are interesting for us and our free time. Well, before we start working with our book, will you answer the questions? What clubs can teenagers visit? Why do teenagers join different clubs? Do you do any sport? Why or why not? Итак, прежде чем мы перейдем к работе с учебником, ответьте устно на вопросы. Какие клубы могут посещать подростки? Почему подростки посещают разные клубы? Занимаетесь ли вы спортом? Если да, то почему? Если нет, то почему нет? Stop the video and answer the questions. Поставьте видео на паузу и устно ответьте на эти вопросы. Now, when you are ready with the answers, let's have a look at the form, page 31, exercise 7a. Some information is missing. Your task now is to suppose what information can be written here. Итак, перед нами форма записи в клуб. Наша с вами задача просмотреть и предположить, какая информация пропущена. Name, Andrew. There must be surname. Далее должна быть, должна быть фамилия. Contact number 0789, but it is not the full number. Но это не, не полный номер. Classes. What class or what sport the person is going to do? Start date. Дата, когда человек хочет приступить. Payment. Payment. Сколько стоит? How you heard about the community center? Откуда вы узнали об этом центре? So, you are listening and completing the form. Слушаем. И заполняем форму. Exercise 7b, page 31. Good morning. How can I help you? Hi. I'm interested in taking some classes at the community center, please. Okay, that's great. Have you been to the center before? No, actually it's my first time. Right. Well, I'll just take down some details from you then. Could you give me your name, please? Sure, it's Andrew Barlow. Is that B-A-R-L-O-W? Yes, that's right. And could I have a contact number, please? Your mobile telephone number, if you have one. Yes, certainly. It's 0789 Eight seven five six five four zero. Eight seven five six five four zero. Thank you. Now, which classes are you interested in? Well, do you have a list of what's available? Sure. Here it is. Have a look. Take your time. Oh, thanks a lot. Wow, there's a lot to choose from. I don't know where to start. Well, maybe I can help. What kind of activities do you like most? Are you the sporty type or do you prefer more relaxed hobbies? Well, I'm quite keen on taking up some kind of sport. OK, well, there's basketball. We've got a brand new court at the back of the centre. Hmm, sounds good. But I think I'd prefer something a bit more unusual. 
What about kickboxing? We've got a really great teacher this year. Oh, yes, that sounds interesting. I'll go for that. Right, kickboxing it is then. There's a class starting on the 3rd of September and another one on the 28th. The 3rd would be fine. How much do the classes cost? They're £35 for 10 classes. Oh, that's a really good price. Yes, all of our classes are really good value. Do I pay now? No, you pay on the 3rd when the class starts. Just one last question for you, Mr Barlow. Where did you hear about the classes at the centre? Oh, I saw them advertised on a poster. On a poster. OK, that's all for now then. See you on the 3rd. OK, thanks a lot. You're welcome. <laughs> You will listen for the second time. Exercise 7b, page 31. Good morning. How can I help you? Hi. I'm interested in taking some classes at the community centre, please. OK, that's great. Have you been to the centre before? No. Actually, it's my first time. Right. Well, I'll just take down some details from you then. Could you give me your name, please? Sure. It's Andrew Barlow. Is that B-A-R-L-O-W? Yes, that's right. And could I have a contact number, please? Your mobile telephone number, if you have one. Yes, certainly. It's 0789-8756540. 8756540. Thank you. Now, which classes are you interested in? Well, do you have a list of what's available? Sure. Here it is. Have a look. Take your time. Oh, thanks a lot. Wow, there's a lot to choose from. I don't know where to start. Well, maybe I can help. What kind of activities do you like most? Are you the sporty type or do you prefer more relaxed hobbies? Well, I'm quite keen on taking up some kind of sport. OK, well, there's basketball. We've got a brand new court at the back of the centre. Hmm, sounds good. But I think I'd prefer something a bit more unusual. What about kickboxing? We've got a really great teacher this year. Oh, yes, that sounds interesting. I'll go for that. Right, kickboxing it is then. There's a class starting on the 3rd of September and another one on the 28th. The 3rd would be fine. How much do the classes cost? They're £35 for 10 classes. Oh, that's a really good price. Yes, all of our classes are really good value. Do I pay now? No, you pay on the 3rd when the class starts. Just one last question for you, Mr Barlow. Where did you hear about the classes at the centre? Oh, I saw them advertised on a poster. On a poster. OK, that's all for now then. See you on the 3rd. OK, thanks a lot. You're welcome. So, let's have a look what you have got. Name. Andrew Barlow. Contact number 0789 8756540. Classes Kickboxing. Start date the 3rd of September. Payment 35 for 10 classes. And he heard about the community center from a Poster. I hope you managed perfectly well. Now, let's have a look at the rules of word formation. We can use several suffixes to make abstract nouns. Examine, we know examination. Enjoy, enjoyment. Correspond, correspondence. Exhaust, exhaustion. Discover, 
discovery. So you are to remember that suffixes Asian meant ends yon and e form abstract nouns. But as usually we learn the words by heart. Итак, вы увидели, какие суффиксы образовывают абстрактные существительные, однако закономерности нет никакой, когда какой суффикс. Поэтому мы слова просто заучиваем и на практике их отрабатываем. So, let's try. Here is an advertisement. Join us at Oak Hall. You are to open the brackets, transforming verbs into nouns. Итак, наша с вами задача раскрыть скобки, трансформировав глаголы в абстрактные существительные. Только что мы посмотрели, какие суффиксы нам в этом помогут. Давайте вспомним слова, которые мы в принципе знаем, и выполним это упражнение. Stop the video, поставьте видео на паузу, and open the brackets, и раскройте скобки. Now it's time to check. Act, action, adventure, compete. Competition and excite, excitement, action, adventure, competition and excitement. You feel all this and more at Oak Hall. You can try a wide select selection of extreme sports. Stay in comfortable, accommodate, accommodation and enjoy a delicious choice of good food. For an unforgettable experience, call 020-3746-4839. Check if you have done everything correctly. Проверьте, так ли вы раскрыли скобки. Запомните эти слова. Well, let's form Nouns from the verbs amaze, amazement, educate, education, collect, you know this word, collection, depend, independence, achieve, achievement, suggest, Suggestion. Recover. Recovery. Agree. Agreement. If you didn't know these words, please learn them. Now, make up sentences orally using these words. Теперь устно составьте предложение, пользуясь этими словами. Поставьте видео на паузу и обязательно проговорите составленные предложения. Now, when you are ready with the sentences, put down your homework. Revise words and rules. Итак, ваше домашнее задание сегодня – повторить слова и правила, которые мы просмотрели на уроке. То есть, проучите слова, которые образованы при помощи суффиксов. For today that's all. Goodbye and good luck.